cool. Alright, we're gonna do a live stream in virtual reality here for the first time. Live in VR, and I'm in a Eurofighter fighter yet, so it's gonna be my first time flying in a really fast aircraft. The library is pretty cool, Iron Maiden, so this is. <laughs> oh, this is great. Let's see now. I'm a complete noob. Release parking brake. Apply full throttle and keep the aircraft straight. Let's see if I can also get the in-game mouse working here. It's a bit... So, perhaps? Nope. Nothing. Now, perhaps. Yeah, now I got the mouse as well. I might be able necessary to use that one. In this one, and see, let's get that one straight. Okay. Need to take a look at all the controls so we know where everything's at. I'm gonna try to fly to Luleå and see if I survive. I guess that's a thrall. And we need to find the, the flaps as well. Where do we have them? Is it. I can hear something at least. But I can't see them. Strange. Hmm. This the tri tricky part with this one is to just understand where everything is. Landing gear, flaps. Okay, so that's the flaps. Is it flaps up and flaps down, perhaps? So does that mean that they are in the up position? Oh well. Well. Let's let's just go. Parking brake is off and throttle. Go. Floor it. Whoa, there's quite a lot of power in this machine. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, let's get airborne. Race landing gear. Oh, Jesus Christ, this one is fast. Whoa! Tower, AF, Echo, Fox, Tribe, oh, is the shopping center? Avion is down there. Let's take a turn over down here. We've got Uma Center. AF, Echo, yes, Fox, Tribe, there it is. So, there's Kulturvaven. There's the hospital. Whoa, the motion sickness is real with this one. <laughs> oh, I have been doing some flights with slower propeller planes. And it's a bit easier on the motion sickness. Okay, so let's see. Where do you have it? Eshvoda. Hmm. It's like we are having some flaps to retract. Okay, press up. I guess we need power. Stall, that's typically not good, I guess. Time approach. Well, now it seems a bit more maneuverable. Tef, still. Oh, there's old man. I think we're al around lunch time now. In this flight, I'm not running the real live weather because it was a bit too cloudy, I suppose. 
Maybe I can see my house from here. <laughs> oh well. I guess that if we're gonna head to Lulo, it's a good thing to get some altitude. get rid of that annoying thing objectives incorrect hell I, <laughs> I, I have no idea what that means let's see afterburner now we're now we're moving really fast here Oh, let's sit back in the chair. It's like it's, you have to center the head in the cockpit so you can see what you're doing. This mouse pointer is quite annoying. I hope I entered unlimited fuel so I don't <laughs> just empty all the tanks at once. Oh, Finland! It's amazing, every time I fly, it always hits me that when you get some altitude, how close we are to our neighbor. I mean, this game in virtual reality, it's, it's quite, quite the thing. It's a bit shaky. Where's the speedometer on this thing? Is it here? 600 knots. Okay, yeah, I'm going pretty fast, yes. I suppose that's 600 knots and... Altitude 42. Okay, so I'm already at 42,000 feet. Point of interest. Hmm. Where am I now? I mean, I'm moving so fast, so I don't even know. Is that Shalef, though? Is that so? Well, that's an airport for sure, I can see it. How fast are we going now? Oh! I mean... Press left... Oh! Oh, there's even... Oh, now I can see the heads-up display. I didn't even notice that one before. I guess you can set the contrast on that thing somehow. I also suppose that you might not need to go this fast and this high, but I'm, I'm in a hurry. It's late. I want to get get back to bed. But first we need to do this 40 nautical miles you know I used to live in Umeå and work in Luleå on the weeks so I, I went by the so-called rubber train it's uh, the, the bus so I've been traveling across the E4 so many times that I've lost count now if I would be able to <laughs> take this this route instead when I was doing this week work go back and forth thing might have saved some time or I would have crashed and burned on the first try we'll see if I can set this baby down when we get when we get there I mean, is that Lula? Are we already there? 800 knots? Well, yeah, I guess that might be possible. <laughs> Maybe we should try to slow down and try to understand where we are. Where's the throttle? 
I can't... I don't know how to slow down. That's... Oh, I want to link them. I think this is probably a very bad idea. I guess... Yeah, we're already in Lula. Okay, so... Then uh, I'm... A b so I'm coming in a bit high. 40,000 feet. <laughs> I was supposed to land here. Press A to interact. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Something is very strange with the throttle here. Press B to quit. We need to slow down. Damn it. Down on low. And we start to try to go down a bit. I don't know how to slow this thing down. It's so fast. Oh well, we'll do a little circle. Maybe we'll even pass my hometown colleagues in the way because <laughs> it's so fast. Where are the brakes? Stall. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to stall. Not now. Oh! Whoops! I might need to start looking for the ejector seat. Oh, there it is. I wonder if that one works. This won't be good. Please stabilize. 500 knots. 550. Brake. I guess that's some kind of... Maybe it's a wheel. Oh, now we have Lulu at least. At least we could see it from above. We're coming down one way or another. I just don't understand why it's. Calax Tower AF Echo Foxtrot 20005 miles northeast, flight level 280 to land. AF Echo Foxtrot 200 Calax Tower. Calax. We need to get down there. Eighteen thousand feet. Oh, whoa, whoa. This is quite the machine. Well, first I need to slow down. I'll put it back all what I all that I can. Which might be a very bad idea. How do I slow it down? Maybe I should have read the manual first. Speed brakes. Well. Whoa! Please. Speed brake. Press A to interact. Adjust speed brakes. Oh, does it work? Yeah, we're slowing down. We are finally slowing down. I wonder what what a speed brake is. But I suppose we need to get the speed down to, let's say. I think we'll take it a turn around here. Break, 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 break. 300 knots. Now we're talking. I want to get it much slower.
So if I release the brake, will it start to increase or can we keep it steady? That would be so nice. Okay, speed, speed. Where do we have it? 230. There. Let's see if we can get the... Release the speed brakes and engage the flaps. Where was it? Oh, move axis Y to interact. Whoa, no, wait. I know we need to get those flaps out somehow. Oh. Oh, well, I guess we're coming in without flaps. The speed is better at least. Now, where was the landing gear? How do we get the how can we engage the landing gears? We're crashing. We need to get the some power. Okay, so we got it now. You have no idea how hard it is to navigate using the... Okay. Yep, the gear are coming down. And we ju now we have the speed brakes. And I think that it's on the X button on the gamepad I can do some kind of brake with the wheels. 200 knots, I mean it feels so fast. I hope I hope we're doing ra good now. Oh, I, don't, I think I'm just going to chill. Most of the other planes you just pr press A and B to increase and decrease throttle. It, it does not work in this plane for some reason. to land. Pattern entry. Oh well, I'm not even close. Oh, the Lule Archipelago. I used to live here. Oh no, 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 no. Maybe one engine is enough, I guess. Now, full speed brake. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Too fast! Of course it's too fast. Whoa! Whoops! Okay. End the flight. Well, that didn't turn out the way I wanted. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Better luck next time. I think I need to stick with a... Whew, with the smaller planes for now. Oof. Oh well.
Oh, well, that was quite the experience. Let's oh, get rid of the audio. Oof. <laughs> Your nerves is like, like this. Well, it's it's really difficult this. Really difficult. Anyways, that's it for now. See you later.